This week is baby prep. We want to get ready for the trip for the hospital. It's two hours out and we want to make sure we can get down the trail. So if there's not enough snow for the snow machine, we want to have this side by side all ready to go. So we're going to get it unburied and pull it out, make sure it's all good to go. And then we're going to go take a look at a mini washing machine we picked up so we can get a lot of baby clothes done, hopefully. And we're going to pack up a go bag for the hospital and uh, what else we got? Anything else for this week? Truck. Clean out the truck. Yeah, we're going to go clean out the truck also down at the parking lot, so we're all good to go. Yeah, just get everything ready. All right. Let's get this thing unburied. Yeah. We've been here all climb. winter. It can climb up, right? Like yeah, it we can just dig up. down a little bit. Yeah, just take out the berm up front. Oh. I'm just thinking about where this snow is going to get thrown to. To the side. It's not in front of me. My side is in front of the greenhouse. Today is officially the first day of spring. Yeah. And we are officially at 37 weeks. Which means they can come whenever. <laughs> so we're going to work the baby out. <laughs> yeah. This is the goal. <laughs> How about they don't start coming until I get this unburied? Then? Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Ooh. Why don't you just run and jump and sit on it? Because I'm not wearing snow pants. You run and jump. I can't run and jump. <clears throat> Why do you shovel the front if we're just going to do that? <laughs> hey, there you go. Okay. Hey, come here. <laughs> No. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? Okay. okay. I think this is the easier snow removal method. Easy for you to say. Well, you want to build a it's snowman? Want to build a snowman? <laughs> it's pretty lumpy. It would be a very lumpy snowman. Easy. It's gonna be stuck all the way down the sides. Yeah. And on the back. Thing? Should be in there. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, okay. Wow. Well, it's not quite the issue. An easy access tarp. <laughs> oh, it's really warm. Yeah. Probably the little bit of this. I'm going to lift that up. 
Wait, I want to climb in too. I'm going to be jerking this thing around trying to get it out of here. Fine. No fun for me. We should have pulled the battery, but we didn't. Hey! Really? The first try? Yeah! Nice! We're going to put it right into low. Oh boy! And we're going to have <laughs> all the tires on. Irie, come here. Come here. Stay out of the way. Let's see if I can reverse a little bit first. No. Ready? Oh! Moving the tire? I don't think so. <laughs> no, but you got a huge block of... That time it spun a little bit. It's just that you need to take out the snow. I think I'm getting there. I don't... you go to that side Oh, and there's our hole. <laughs> Took a little coaxing, but it came out of there. I tried just uh, seeing if I could whip a donut hard and see if the snow would come out, but that was a joke. I put it in high and put it all the way to the floor and I just slowly went, so. It's squatting pretty hard with all this weight, so I'm going to get it out of there and then see what, see if we can move around pretty easy or not. Grab that. Oh, okay. Well, here you go. <laughs> no! Ah! Hey, that's mine. <laughs> I was trying to chuck it your way, but I don't know how you did that. I got a longer handle. easier that way. Now it's... This one too. Well, it's like a little step for me to stand on now. Oh, oh huge! I gotta break that. You got a huge pile. Uh, Wait, I'm not over there yet. Okay. You're not supposed to be lifting things. It's baby go time. Oh, yeah, I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> no, no. I can't help you. Almost, almost. I can't help. I tried. I didn't do much here. Well, once again, we emptied the back where we need the weight yeah. off the front. Well, it's just how it works. We'll just get a couple more shovelfuls. I just need to regrip differently now that I'm up this side. I don't we know. just need more weight on the bottom. Yeah, yeah hold it right there. 
Okay, I got it. There's a lot of ice in this crack. Lovely. Just let it melt there. in the sun a day or two. It'll come off. Well, now it's like at the perfect angle for the sun to hit it, too. Yeah. A little cloudy today, though. Lori along the way. Rolled right out. Well, so I should make sure I plugged in the spark plugs and stuff again. This is our backup sled that we got. <laughs> at the beginning of winter and then um, very shortly after getting it, Cody kind of buried it right here. So it's just yeah. been sitting there. Luckily we haven't needed to use it. <laughs> Look at that, there's a spark plug tool in here. Sparking.
There it is. Now that I roughed up the uh, driveway here, taking out that side-by-side -side in this older snow machine, I'm going to take the groomer and just smooth it all out. Uh, what I've been doing is I go out with a neighbor typically on Thursday nights and we go and groom the whole five mile trail. Uh, it keeps it nice and smooth for Lori's appointments. Uh, but as we get closer to the date, I'll probably be doing this more frequently. So, But just hooked it up, so I'm just going to knock out some of this and see if I can even do it with how wet this snow is. It, uh, it might pack in too hard and I might have a hard time moving, so we'll see. Uh, just to explain kind of how this works is this is all made out of steel. This one isn't mine. This is a neighbor's that I'm borrowing. Um, but he's got skis on the four corners to keep it at a certain height above the snow. And then we've got these angled bars here and here that uh, cut into the snow. So uh, in theory what it does is as you go over a bump, it cuts off the top of the bump. And then all the snow gathers up on this to keep it from blowing out everywhere. And uh, then when you go over a hole, it should be dropping the snow into the hole. Uh, when it's real heavy stuff, I may have to raise this ski, which is just a ski on the back with a screw to lift up the back more so I don't cut in as aggressively because this one is pretty aggressive. But right now it's all the way up. We'll see if I can move it all. Typically when we're doing the trail, this one goes first and it cuts pretty aggressive. And then uh, neighbor follows along behind me with one that's about the same size, but it's only a single blade and made out of wood. And it's lighter, I believe. So it doesn't... Uh, doesn't cut as aggressively and kind of smooths out the mess I make, really. It's the finisher one. The finisher one. The downside to these groomers are it's really hard to turn around. So he's going out to the trail and he has a spot down there that he's going to turn around. And then he'll come back and he'll have to do a bunch of passes over here and then kind of take like our big loop arounds that we have so it's probably going to take quite a few passes I think but it does a really nice job of keeping the trail smooth I was going to say, it looks so different when you're driving that with that lifted all the way up in the back. Yeah, because it doesn't take nearly as It much doesn't time. do anything. Well, at least in this packed area, it doesn't. Yeah. But it's not covered with snow, so you can kind of see whew, how it's shaped. So that center ski is what raises and lowers it. And there's like two angled pieces. That's what scrapes the snow. And then this board is what catches the snow and lets it drop down. And then, of course, the two front skis up there. You ready to clean the truck? Oh, yeah. You ready to set up the car seat? No. <laughs> so it is quite the mess from the summer and winter and just not really having it organized. But we're going to take pretty much everything out of there, clean out all the snow, and then pretty much just repack it back in. We've got some, like, random bits of garbage that needs to get thrown away too and i do think it is warm enough that we could put some rain x on the front windshield that's my goal so 
Oh, we're gonna empty it first. I think we're gonna need the big vacuum. I think it might just work better brushing with your hand. That's what I was gonna try to do. is also a glass cleaner too. It doesn't really make sense to put it on the inside of the window. So we've got the whole truck emptied right now. Um, we're kind of just working on vacuuming out as much of the dog hair as possible. There is no way we're going to get all of it, especially with just a handheld battery vacuum. Um, it's just really tough to get it all. But I mean, we own a Husky, so we, even if we do get all the hair, it's just going to get filled with hair again the very next time she comes in the truck. But we're at least going to get most of it. So we're just kind of getting as much hair out, wiping everything down, trying to get it clean. And then we're going to kind of probably set up the car seat. I think the best way to get this hair out right now is to get most of it just with my hand. And then once I do that, get any of the little stragglers with the vacuum. If it does, anyway. Oh, I got one spray out of this thing. What? Oh yeah, it is frozen. I mean, they're just gonna immediately get dirty again. Yeah, we don't have to clean it. Get the most out of it. Use what at, is at your disposal. Snow. slid right in. Did it? Yep. Nice. Good breeze. Look at that. Well this side's gonna be way cleaner than that side. <laughs> I think we're mostly cleaned out so now we're going to kind of put some stuff back in the truck maybe kind of picking through it, deciding, you know, all the garbage and the stuff that we don't need in the truck anymore, we'll have somewhere. Um, we're gonna put everything back and then we're going to put the car seat right here. Okay, car seat. Do the car seat first. 
What else is there to put back? Everything, all of our stuff. Do we have a knife? <laughs> mm, no. You know, box. Open up the face and separate. Okay. The base is not separate. Oh, it's just separate in there. How is it disconnect from the base? Let's take that off and get it out. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because we just need to get the base put on there, right? Yeah, what car seat what car seat doesn't come off of the base? Yeah, it doesn't look like this one does. Because the there's a sticker on the side here that you loop the belt through the middle. I've got, okay, rear facing. Do not use tether in rear facing mode. Tether must be properly stored. See page 20. Yeah, okay. So then it just stays in here. So you put that in. Yep, that goes in there. All right, step one done. <laughs> I was already there. Okay, actually that wasn't even step, that was step two. Um, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's what it is. Do you see the bubble on your side? Yeah. Rear facing. You have to recline it so that the bubble is in there. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you figure out what reclined it's supposed to be at. Also, rear facing is blue, so we need to be only using these front locks. Oh, that's what it is. Heck. Okay. Well, we've kind of figured that out. Maybe. Is there an opening? Yeah. So that's where we're supposed to be going. Yes. Make sure this is all straight there. Okay, now that makes sense with how this is supposed to be locking yes. in there. Okay. I will not lock it up. That was like good. I'm guessing you're not going to want to do a like, all right, let's take it out and let's put it back in. No. Why would we do that? Well, we're going to have to take it off in order to go to the hospital. Oh, yeah, because you're supposed to take the base. Oh, you can't lift this one off the base. Exactly. Guys. That's the whole point of why I was upset about it. Yeah, I forgot about that. <sighs> Can we try to recline it a little bit more? Oh. Tighten it so much you can't even reach in there to get that. Ooh. You, don't, you don't recline from the back side? No. You grab this handle. Right there. Yeah, put it on board. That's as far as it goes, right? Alright, we've got the car seat installed. We've got the little mirror thing installed. The protector still needs to come off, so that's why it doesn't look like a mirror. And there you go. We might return it and get a different one. Right. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm just now realizing, because I did not know that they even made ones like this, but, like, the seat does not come off the base. And it doesn't have, like, a handle for carrying. So, like, it's here. It's here forever. And if we ever want to take it out, we have to go through that whole pain of uninstalling it and reinstalling it again. Mm -hmm. Which normally wouldn't be too big a deal. It's just we have to warm up the car seat and bring it with us and stuff. Yeah. But it's in. It's there for now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. I'll put it out. Oh. 
Corey's pretty excited for this, I know. Yes. And it's going to save us trips from Trapper Creek. Oh. I don't think I'm the only one excited, but... No, I'm excited too. It's too Backwards. <laughs> okay, no wait, I want to peel this off. Can I pull it out of the pot that are starting? Yeah. I want to know if it's on wheels, because that I don't. No. no. What is this? It's pretty small and light this, anyway. This came out. Yeah, it's just well, it's right here. probably to fold it. Go ahead and peel it. Yeah, I just wanted to peel the top one. Well, you can peel them all, I don't care. Uh, this is a mini washer and spinner. Does it dry too? Do you know? It's supposed to dry, I think. Is it dry? Okay. Yeah. You have the option. So it's small enough where we can uh, move this around and we'll be able to do small loads of laundry. And we don't have to haul it out to be able to do that. So. But it's also big enough that we can do like probably only one at a time, but like a blanket or a coat or a jacket or something. Right. So small enough. But also big enough. Woo! The shiny. Not really sure where it's going to go yet. Lori wants to hide it in the closet. I'm thinking that I might build it into one of the cabinets by the sink so I can drop water lines to it and then also tap it into the same drain. Uh, but we'll see. We might just pull it out as needed and just hand fill it and then dump it into a bucket or something. The only reason I don't want it in the kitchen cabinet is because we're only going to have so much space in there that I'm assuming all of that space we're going to want for kitchen stuff. That is true. So I'm not, it's not like I'm against that idea, but I, I just don't think it's going to be the best option for this space. Wait, is that really? It is really tippy. There's got to be something on the bottom. It's just this leg. This way it's screwed. So there has to be at least something. That's weird how much it moves. I mean, that's gotta supposed agitate. to move, but it's pretty big. There's like a... Like a what? This is not at all the biggest blanket we have, but oh, there's, it only, yeah. It can fit like two of those, honestly. Okay. I don't think it'll fit like an actual big blanket, but... Well, I'm thinking that big blue one that we have that's like fuzzy like this that just soaks up water. Yeah. It's or my too heavy. quilt white or comforter. No, I think it should be able to do that one. I kind of doubt it. But it's not a big deal if we have to go to laundry mat and Trapper Creek every like once a year. <laughs> or like seasonally. Yeah. But hopefully like a jacket though. All right, I don't, that's Easy. no problem. We could do that jacket and that blanket. Probably, yeah. without it being filled up too much. Good. Good, good. Mostly, though, it's because we're probably going to be doing a lot of laundry with the baby. Yeah. Which, we don't have to worry about that stuff being too big to fit in there. Nope. <laughs> so. Just a single input for the water and the drain hose. Yeah. Which is... And then our power plug, of course. Pretty simple. So I don't have any way to really hook this up unless it was outside right now. I've got a hose pipe outside I could hook it to. Yeah, but you can also just fill it with the water too. Right, we can just pour water on top. But I don't think we're going to test it right now. No, not right now. It's like that spot was made for it. it slides right in easy. Well, the crib was centered on the shower curtain. So I did have to scooch it over a little bit <laughs> to make room for it. There's definitely not, there's like an inch of extra space right now in there. But if the ladder was gone, there'd be more room. It's pretty light though, easy to move around to do stuff for now. Yeah. Until we find a permanent home for it. For the time being, we can sit by the bathtub. It will be really nice for the baby clothes because we are going to have to wash that stuff pretty constant. Yeah, well I think we have 
Well, I, I don't actually know for sure. I think we have either like one to two weeks worth of clothes at a time for the, at least for the newborn size. And then hopefully, yeah. It definitely beats our uh, summer solution we were doing. Yeah, it beats tote with a stick. <laughs> the last thing that we were going to kind of go over for everything that we have prepared to go is kind of like our, um, I guess it's going to be our diaper bag, but for right now it's more than just diapers and stuff. It also has all of my stuff in it as well. Um, but just kind of the stuff that we have packed and ready to go to the hospital that isn't necessarily staying in the truck. So we opted, so we opted for like a backpack style, um, diaper bag, which I think is going to be the best option for us just because we have to haul everything everywhere all the time. Um, and it's just going to be the easiest, but in here we kind of just have some snacks, some diapers, some wipes, um, I have a few different outfits for myself, some, I guess, postpartum care stuff. Uh, let's see, I have to remind myself what I put in here because I don't even really remember. Yeah, we have some baby outfits for when they're born. Um, a couple different styles. We grabbed one swaddle that we have here, hoping that the nurses at the hospital can teach us how to use it because I don't know. Um, a warmer outfit for the baby. And then just like toiletries for us too. Um, so really there isn't too much in here. But I think it's going to be everything that we need. At least, I mean, it really just needs to get us through potentially just one day. So that's not that long. You don't really need that much for just one day. But. And the other thing that we have to remember is camera and our actual camera because I'm hoping that in the hospital we can get some nice pictures taken. We don't use this all the time so it is one of those things that we kind of just have pre-packed up and it's just going to be sitting in the crib ready to go whenever. Um, one of the harder things that's going to be not packed when it's time to go would be like our laptop, the GoPro, kind of stuff like that um, because we use them on a pretty regular basis. So We'll see. I'm hoping that we'll have the mind to kind of quick throw them in a bag and bring them with. But if not, we at least have we at least have our nice camera. And then lastly in this bag is just going to be all of Cody's stuff. So he has obviously not packed it yet. Um, so that's just up to him. He needs to he'll probably just throw in a couple pairs of clothes. Um, at least one change of clothes, I think. But I've already got toiletries in mine so that's at least covered yeah so that's about it there's really not too much that we need to bring and even with this little amount it kind of feels like we're going to be hauling half of our house to the hospital with us so besides just these few things that we still have here at the house um, we have a couple things in the truck as well so we have a blanket which we're probably going to bring a second one down there just so that there's at least one for each of us to have a blanket from home and then we have our car seat, which is already put in there. Had a little bit of a panic moment with the car seat, not being able to come off of the base because I wasn't sure how big of a deal it was going to be with having a newborn and the car seat being really cold. You don't really want to put them in a super cold car seat, but it is getting warm enough now that it might not be that big of a concern. And then if it is cold, we're just going to have to um, try to heat up the truck, I guess, for a while just keep an eye on it. We'll see. We also have a bag of dog food in the truck as well. There's a pretty good chance that the baby's going to come on a random day and she's just going to kind of have to come along with us in the truck. So for her, it might be a little bit of a flashback to living in the truck from when we drove up here but hopefully it won't be too bad or too long of a stay. At least Cody will be able to go in and out a bunch to check on her, take her for a couple walks, give her some food and water. So just in case, we kind of have that there. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else at the moment. There's probably something that we have packed that I just don't remember, but if there's anything that you think is a complete must-have that we might have missed, let us know. Otherwise, so we are at 37 weeks now, which is very exciting. The end is near. Uh, the 
Official due date is April 9th. So that's where we're looking for potentially when it's going to happen. But you never know. It could be a week beforehand, week after. Who knows? We don't. So we kind of thought it'd be fun if anyone wanted to like leave their guess below in the comments. Kind of write down either if you think it's a boy or a girl or if it's going to be early or late. Just kind of fun. I know that these next few weeks might be super, super slow. Is It's just I'm going to be getting impatient, that's for sure. So kind of something fun that I think we can kind of look at and, you know, kind of see what the majority of people might be guessing. So we have no idea. It's going to be a surprise for everyone. But yeah, it should be in. So let us know what you think.